Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Komodo Skunk, your straight-jacketed, medication, drooling, cup-wearing moron with the face-crashing helmet against the walls who licks the windows host. Okay. Yeah, I know. My daughter Rachel is actually sitting here next to me. She's 13. She also loves playing the game. And she... ...commentary about general things like world news or something on YouTube that she sees or just laughing at dad. That's what she usually does best. All right. All right. I'm continuing my series called Going Up Against Goliath where I'm taking all my cars in my garage. Yep, Going Up Against Goliath. Where I'm taking all my cars, all 200 plus of them, and putting them on Goliath, the largest course here in Australia, and Forza Horizons 3. It's like 25, 28 miles. I don't know the exact amount. I'm sure my daughter could actually look it up in Google and find out how much it is. Then I'll write it down, so I'll be precise on the next video. Wait, what now? Yeah. What? Uh, look up how big Goliath course is on Forza 3 Horizons. And... How, what's the name? Forza 3 Horizons. Goliath. G-O-L-I-A-T-H. Okay, okay. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll write it down right here on this piece of paper, and how long is Goliath? Like, how many miles? To like 25 or 28 miles or something like that. It's approximately 30 miles. Approximately 30 miles, okay. I'll write that down. Approximately 30 miles. Okay. Alright, so I got that written down. That mystery's been cleared up, so let me yeah, show you. If you did 50, 50 laps on that, it would be 1,500 miles. Yeah, I believe that. You want to you do 50 laps? Yeah, I do 50 laps, so I'd have to have the hot tea. Actually, in an IV bag, dripping fast drip straight into my arm vein that goes right into my heart and right into my brain. So I might be able to handle that nonsense. But man, that I will do 50 laps. I'm going to have to break it up, though. Probably do like two oh, hours is, here, two hours the there, two hours here, two hours there. This is the amount of XP you get on the 50 laps. Okay, it looks like 5 million XP. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll definitely do that for that XP. But I won't do it this week. I might do it next week. But... Like I said, what you want to do here is go to skills, and look at this. I actually got to click on it again because I raced three cars already. Click here. It only costs you 10 points. Unlock the perk. And what this does, it actually makes your triple skill points for the next three campaign races. Each race can be, says, 50 laps. It all gets compounded on the end of the screen, on the end of the race. So then you'll just get that much more XP. And if you're using a credit boost or XP boost car, it's just going to be that much more. So trust me, it does work. I've used it before a lot. I, I actually use it every race. And that's how I was able to get up to 521 in about two to three weeks since I started this series. So let's go back and let's get racing, shall we? And the car I actually purchased, I actually had in my garage, is this beautiful Ford Falcon XP or XE or something like that. It's, it's just gorgeous. I wish this car was up here in America. I do. I'd have one in a six-speed and a heartbeat. I would. I, I love this car. So, you know, I got the black chrome wheels with the white leather tires. Yeah, shoot me, but hey, I always like the look of them. So, all right. Especially when they're on the yeah, yep, yep, exactly. See, Rachel knows what I'm talking about. She's 13 and she already knows her stuff about cars. What a hell of a good kid, I tell you. Straight A student and an artist, and she has my, and she has her mommy's brains. That shows she doesn't have daddy's brains, thankfully. She'd be, just be drooling in a cup somewhere in the middle of a corner. But that's me. As so we go here to exhibition, and just wait for the game to load so it's one two, three, that you want to do, you choose Goliath. Um, Alright, one's the Ford GT, the other one is a Lamborghini 
Centenario, I think they're called. Yeah, so they're probably two of the fastest cars here in the game. And you choose that, look what happens. You get your own cars on here instead of the ones from Forza Motorsports or the 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 place where you buy the cars on, on the game here. These are your cars in your garage, and that's the way that you want them. Yeah, that Alfa Romero 8C, I do like that car as well. That's one of the faster cars around the course. All right, let's take this monster around the course. Actually, that front end looks a lot like a Ford Fusion, doesn't it? I think it does. Actually, Rachel told me that when she came over here and sat down for the stream. So, yeah. Yeah, it's an XR8. All right. It's still a gorgeous car. I'd love to have one. Yeah, but it has a V8 engine, like the Mustang. That black car in front is actually the back Mono, B-A-K, M-O-N-O. -O. Yep, see that? I know you, Rach. I know you. All right. Yeah. All right, so let's start the event, shall we? Yeah, that's the back Mono. Or B A C M O N O. I think that's how you spell it. to this upper part of the course where it's all rocky and dirt and all that. Yeah, that's a bit rough. I'm already in sixth gear. How about that? Doing 160 and climbing. Let's see if I can actually stay on the damn bridges this time. There you go. Yeah, I think I missed that gate. Yep, I missed that gate. Ah, I can't believe I missed that gate. See, what happens is, when you miss a gate, you go already to the back of the pack. Then you gotta start racing from the gate that you missed. But, I hope I'll be able to catch up to everybody again. See, I made it through the bridge, but then I missed the gate. I'm, I'm do so many mess-ups during the race. And that's what happens. And because I'm not a professional racer. Yeah, I've got the same ability as a drunken squirrel and maybe come in house plant when it comes to racing. I at least want to beat this guy. Yeah, I know I might be dirty racing right there. I know, I know. But that's me. Yeah, this one I get to see all the cars that are in the back of the pack. That's actually a Lotus, I think. I think that's a Lotus. Uh, I just rolled the car. Yeah, I made on all four wheels, so I guess that's a kind of a half fail. Yeah, this part of the track's always a little bit more difficult for me. I just gotta concentrate more in race. Yeah. I guess you can consider Rachel my co-pilot right now. <laughs> Luckily I got around that guy on the inside of the turn. Okay, I'm in six gear, tucked out at almost 170 mile an hour. Oh, I got some good damage right here, but I lost all the points. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty much par for the course on this one, failing right now, failing hard. Almost doing a face slam right into the floor. I'm failing that hard. But I'm just going to keep racing. I don't edit any of my videos, so nobody sees the bad stuff because that's actually part of the fun on this. In my channel. I'm not afraid to show how badly I do. 
Because who wants to see perfect racers driving perfectly and winning perfectly? That's no fun. Let's go and get over. Oh. Yeah, that hurt. That really hurt there. I tried overcompensating. I slid the car across the road. And I slammed. But overall, as sucky as I'm driving, I do like this car a lot. I'm trying not to drift. I'm trying to get around the turns as quickly as I can. I believe I'm trying not to. Yeah. Yep. I'll catch up with Jake probably after this this train is done. See, my thing is, I know everybody's going to pass me on the straights, but I'll catch up to them in the curves. So my cars are more for handling, not straightaway speed. Despite seeing all the time by slamming in trees on this race. I'm trying, H. I'm trying. Come on. Oh, come on. Not once in the tree, but twice. Oh, boy. Hey, showed you I can catch up to everybody. It takes me a bit, but I do. Yeah. I think that's a Jaguar. Yeah. Yeah, they're quick as anything now.
I knew I was going to hit that. Yeah. I guess he likes Mercedes then. Yeah. Yep. Sorry guys, look I got a bike on the front. See it? Hey guys, uh, bike seats riding on my antenna. Look at that. There it goes. It's probably the fastest that bike seat ever went. Of course, I probably drug it about half a damn mile. Yeah, thanks to me. Just charge it to my Forza account. I have enough money in there to pay for a new bike. I think after this race I'll go get Jake and we'll try and race this course ourselves. Yep, yep. there you go. He, he just messaged me, so yeah, I'll message him and tell him, yeah, I'll, I'll start racing him today. Because yesterday we, we didn't, so I bet he's feeling kind of lonely and so the race will be stuck. I'm like, okay, buddy, I will. In case you're wondering out there, whoever's watching this video later on in YouTube, uh, Jake is one of my best friends on here in Forza. He's actually taught me a lot of my, a lot when I know, despite all my crashing and everything, how much I love the game. And this guy has actually raced cars. Oh, come on, man. Yep. I just tried telling everybody how good a racer Jake is. And this guy's been racing longer than I've been alive, and I'm 50. So yeah, he's 68 years old, and this guy just eats, drinks, sleeps, and showers racing. So yeah, that's, that's all he does. That's all he knows. He's a good guy, though. He's an old, diehard Marine, and just a great, great friend. Of course, he'd probably be cringing at me if he saw these videos I'm doing. Yeah. I can't believe my tires actually grabbed right there, right when I was getting ready to take out the slide. I'm just trying not to hit the walls too bad. I mean, at least I'm not pinballing back and forth between the concrete abruptly, so. Now, see, I'm gonna show you a little secret. This is where all-wheel drive actually has the advantage on the sand. See, I think that back motor just sent himself into the cliff area there. One thing you must do is you gotta stay out of the surf. It will pull your car off course. You might go crashing into the opposite end of the caves or into the rocks themselves. 
or onto the sea. And you won't be able to recover, you'll be angry, and you'll say, Skunk, why didn't you tell me about that? Well, I'm telling about you now, and maybe I'll save you later on. Right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I know, I sounded weird. 1359, not bad for a Ford Falcon. Thirteen fifty nine. Probably do a lot better if I didn't keep wrecking like I did. Five forty. Okay, like I said, I'm going to cut this stream short. Let me just collect all the points. Then I'm going to start racing with my friend offline. So I'll be back streaming probably later on today or tonight, or maybe tomorrow. I'll just see how it happens. Not bad. I still should have done better uh, skills of clean racing, though. I don't know why it's so damn low. Alright, well, now I got my points. Let me just see about the wheel spin here. Yeah, I'll take a Chevy Corvette 706. Oh, I would love that Nova. I would have taken that Nova in a heartbeat. Alright, but I got 20 grand. Alright, everybody, I'm going to head off stream for a little bit. I'll be back later on today or maybe tomorrow. Take care. I hope you're entertained. Have a good one. See ya.